Number 5 Georgia, 5020, at Vanderbilt, 3202, 11 a.m. CDT Saturday, ESPN, Vanderbilt Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. One player in SEC history who has carried the ball as much as Nick Chubb has a better yards per carry average than the Georgia RB. Chubb has averaged 6.4 yards on 610 carries. Bo Jackson averaged 6.62 yards on 650 carries for Auburn from 1982 through 1985. Three points have been scored against Georgia in its two set games this season, the fewest that the Bulldogs have yielded in their first two conference games in the league's history. Georgia has started its 2017 sex slate by beating Mississippi State 31-3 on September 23 and Tennessee 41-0 on September 30. The fewest points that Georgia has given up in its first three set games in a season is nine, accomplished in 1959 when the Bulldogs beat Alabama 17-3 on September. 19, Vanderbilt 21-6 on September 26, and Mississippi State 15-0 on October 17 in their first three conference contests. Three set teams Florida, Ole Miss and Vanderbilt have not recovered an opponent's fumble this season. Five teams among the 130 in NCAA FBS have not recovered an opponent's fumble in 2017, with Appalachian State and Buffalo joining the SEC trio. Vanderbilt's opponents have fumbled six times, Ole misses three times and Florida's two times. Four consecutive ranked opponents have been faced by Vanderbilt, with number 5 Georgia joining the lineup to make the season a unique one in the Commodores' history. Vanderbilt defeated number 18 Kansas State 14-7 on September 16, lost to number 1 Alabama 59-0 on September. 23, lost to number 21 Florida 38-24 on September 30th and now faces number 5 Georgia, giving the Commodores four straight ranked opponents for the first time. 14 Ds have been scored against Georgia this season, tied with Miami, Florida for the fewest in the nation. Minus four punt return yards have been accumulated by Georgia's opponents this season, the fewest in the nation. Georgia's opponents have returned four punts in 2017. Vanderbilt is averaging 9.43 yards per punt return this season. 5-5-0 records for Georgia in the past 35 seasons, including 2017. In 2002 and 2005, the Bulldogs went to 6-0. In 2006 and 2012, Georgia lost its sixth game. Six victories and five losses for Georgia under coach Kirby Smart in games with daytime kickoffs. The Bulldogs are 7-0 under Kirby at night. Seven of Vanderbilt's 138 rushing attempts this season have resulted in at least a 10-yard gain. The Commodores have the fewest 10-yard runs in the nation this season. 19 scores on 19 possessions in the red zone for Georgia this season. The Bulldogs have 14 TDs and 5 field goals to show for their 19 series that have penetrated the opponent's 20-yard line in 2017. 56 victories for Georgia. 20 victories for Vanderbilt and two ties in the Bulldogs Commodore series. Georgia leads the series 25 12 2 in Nashville. 59 years since Vanderbilt scored back to back victories over Georgia. The Commodores, who defeated the Bulldogs 17 16 last season, most recently beat Georgia in consecutive seasons in 1956 through 1958. 
Since Vanderbilt's three-game winning streak, Georgia has a 48-6-1 record against the Commodores. 96 rushing yards are needed by Georgia RB Nick Chubb to become the eighth SEC player with 4,000. Georgia's Herschel Walker, 1988-82, is the SEC's all-time rushing leader with 5,249 yards. He's the only SEC player with 5,000 rushing yards. The other players with at least 4,000 are Arkansas's Darren McFadden, 4,590 yards from 2005-07, LSU's Kevin Falk, 4,557, 1995-98, Auburn's Bo Jackson, 4,303, 1982-85, Florida's Eric Drett, 4,163, 1990-93.